it depends on, uh, on how you enter the United States mm -hmm. and who is your petitioner. Okay, it depends on if you have a legal entry or don't have a legal entry. And then it depends on who is your petitioner and uh, whether you violated your status after entry to the United States or did not violate your status. And it, then it depends on the, on the category in which you are being petitioned. Hmm. And finally, it will depend on the question whether you have a criminal record or don't have a criminal record and whether your petitioner is able to provide an affidavit of support or not. Mm -hmm. We will try to ask the questions that we've received to Attorney Golan. Of course, they're received at random. And so some are related to some topics and then we'll jump to another issue. Attorney Golan, someone asks this question. What is a biometric screening? Biometric screening is uh, you, you are, the, the, the immigration service wants a, a, a additional proof about your identity mm. and so so they, they so just having a, a submitting a birth certificate a, a, a piece of paper which uh, says this is a birth certificate giving your name and date of birth and the name of parents is not enough uh, just having a passport which is again a piece of paper mm -hmm. and 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 uh, bearing your name uh, is not enough. Uh, or just having an ID card with your name, even with a picture, is not enough. Mm -hmm. They need some better proof of your identity. And for this, they want you to provide fingerprints. Uh -huh. Okay, and they want you to provide a photograph. And because they learned over the years that people fake even that, oh. which means if if I if I need to give you my fingerprints, I ask my neighbor to do me a favor oh, wow. and give his finger <laughs> <laughs> and, and give his fingerprints under my name. <laughs> wow! And this is a possibility. Please. I'm sure it was done. The, wow. the immigration service again, maybe twenty or more years ago. He opened a, a number of service centers, mm -hmm. service centers which are staffed by the immigration service. And after you file an application, they invite you to the service center where you provide fingerprints and photographs mm -hmm. taken by the staff of the immigration service. I see. Which means it's not so easy to anymore to fake your fingerprints. Mm. That's, that's very this good. is biometric screening. Mm -hmm. now, now they have fingerprints which they are pretty sure are yours and they can send them to the FBI and to many other places to check your identity and give an answer right. whether you are a thief or a rapist 